this news is just in. It was, uh, we were waiting for this today to happen. British Prime Minister Theresa May is to step down on Friday, June 6th, amid cabinet revolt over Brexit plan. This is uh, reported on RT today. Uh, we remember that quite a few weeks, uh, quite a few months ago, Queen Elizabeth had asked her to come and visit her so that she could uh, instruct Theresa May, the Queen instructed Theresa May, to uh, implement the desire of the people's vote. The people voted for a Brexit, and Theresa May was really uh, stepping very slowly as to what she was. She wasn't really doing anything. I don't think she knew what to do. Uh, I'm sorry to say that uh, she would have been doing better perhaps if she was uh, in a uh, in her own living room or her kitchen. I don't. I don't know what to say. She's just stalled things and made a mess of things. Perhaps it's better if uh, Nigel Farage was in charge of all this. Uh, the uh, Brexit would have been done years ago. So UK Prime Minister, and then, so in fact the Queen says, told her, if you don't do this within a certain amount of months, well that uh, deadline has come and gone away, you know, one, at least six months now. Uh, she says, if you don't do that, I'm going to ask you to resign and to replace you with someone who can do it. Now UK Prime Minister Theresa May could announce her resignation from the office Friday after the cabinet mutiny, another high-profile resignation over her Brexit plan. Well, she did just re she just uh, did uh, just announce it. She will be resigning on June seventh. She just uh, announced her resignment today. She will be leaving on June seventh. So uh, May's doomed uh, prime ministership has circulated and. Uh, it intensified in recent days after members of her cabinet turned on her following May's offer of a potential second referendum on Brexit. Well, wait, you wait, wait, the people already voted. How many referendums are you going to have? You're going to have referendums until what? Until they decide not to have a Brexit? What is this? Rumors about May's doomed premiership. Now, on Wednesday, Andrea Leedsom, head of the House of Commons and prominent Leave campaigner, delivered a fresh blow to the uh, Prime Minister by resigning from her position after announcing her fundamental disagreement with May's stance on Brexit. Of course! So for Theresa May, uh, so far Theresa May has managed to resist the mounting pressure on her crumbling leadership, saying that as long as she is in charge, it is her duty to try to get her Brexit deal through Parliament. However, her new proposal was met with a massive backlash even from those who supported her before. She's done a lot of damage to her party as well. Uh, but unfortunately, people that get onto thrones uh, don't want to leave their thrones, uh, even though they damage their kingdoms. <laughs> you know? Um, now, while the Conservative Party facing a wipeout in Thursday's European Parliament elections, the PM is under severe pressure to leave. Well, she just, yeah, that's what we're saying. This is the background of her resigning. So she did resign, and she will be leaving on June 7th. Now, I guess we'll have more on this as to who will be replacing her. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition 
and the community around our church. Thank you. Thank you.